Welcome to the Burden and Blessing Podcast, a study and discussion forum on the truth of God's Word. Our Word of the Week takes an in-depth look at important Bible words so we might increase and deepen our understanding of God's Word of Truth. We pray that these brief studies will enable you to get more out of your daily reading and hearing of God's Holy Word. Welcome back to Burden and Blessing and our Word of the Week. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been considering different terms or titles for positions in the Old and the New Testament. Last week, we considered the term prophet, one that related to both the Old and the New Testament. Today, we're considering another term, the term apostle. Very literally, the word apostle is describing one who is sent. In this sense, in a very broad way, it can be used for someone who is a messenger. For example, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 25, Paul says, Yet I considered it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, but your messenger and the one who ministered to my need. Well, that word translated messenger is the word apostolos, apostle. In this case, it was used to describe someone who was bringing a message. While it is in Greek used in this particular sense of one who is sent to give a message, in scripture it generally has a more specific usage, a title that it actually becomes. The Bible uses this term apostle to describe a very distinct group of people. In Matthew chapter 10 verses 1 through 4, we're told that Jesus called his 12 disciples to him. He gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. And the names of the 12 apostles are these. And then he lists Simon, who was called Peter, Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Labius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot. And so scripture uses this term apostle in a more specific way to describe the work of 12 men, the 12 apostles. These 12 apostles were ones who were directly commissioned by Jesus to go out and to preach the good news of salvation which Jesus would win for them and for all people through his death on the cross. This is a divine commission that the Lord himself calls or chooses specific individuals during the time of his ministry and gives them the work of proclaiming the gospel. At the end of Jesus' ministry, just before his death and crucifixion, we're told that one of these 12 apostles left the office. Judas went out and hung himself. And so in the early part of the book of Acts, we're told that the church then replaces Judas with another. And here they have some qualifications for one who would fill that particular office. In Acts chapter 1, we're told that the one who would take the place of Judas would need to be one who was with Jesus from the very beginning of his ministry all the way up until the time that he ascended back into heaven. Two names were put forth, and one of them was voted to take the place of Judas. That was Matthias. We're also told in the later New Testament that the Apostle Paul was also an apostle, one who was sent directly by Jesus. He met with the Apostle Paul on the road to Damascus, called him directly to be his witness to the world. And so as we consider the work of an apostle, we see that it is one who is called directly by Jesus, who witnessed his life, his death, his resurrection and ascension into heaven, who heard his instruction, was taught and learned from the teachings of Jesus himself, that he might then go out to proclaim salvation in Jesus as the one and only Savior. We have heard also from Ephesians chapter 4, the role of the apostle, that the Lord has called some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. The Lord used these 12 individuals to proclaim the good news of salvation. Contrary to the belief of many Christian churches today, 
there are no modern successors for these 12 apostles. They laid the very foundation for the church in their work and in their preaching. But once those apostles passed away, there was no continuing commission by the Savior to go out into the world as apostles. This work of the apostle was given to the early New Testament church through the writings of the apostles and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, which we continue to benefit from still today. We thank the Lord for his gift to his church, both then in the early New Testament as well as today through their writings, that we might continue to benefit from the message which they were sent to proclaim. We encourage you to listen for a new word each week on Burden and Blessing Podcast, where we believe and confess that every word of God is true. Until next week, be assured that God's word is truth and is more precious than gold.